Alrighty guys, what is going on? Today I'm going to be doing a video that I've had a lot of questions on uh, recently and uh, the question is advanced troops versus regular troops. How much stronger are advanced troops? Which ones should you use? And um, are they worth researching? Um, so I'm going to try and answer all those questions for you guys in today's video. First off, I'm going to start with saying the research for the advanced troops and regular troops. Combat. These are going to be regular troops, obviously, so they are going to provide the same boost. So you're going to get 131% for completing, just for example, that troop health all to 10, if you get that to 10, and um, it's going to give you the same exact boost. However, these, I haven't completed it completely. I need to finish up these and unlock the last two. I haven't really been jumping on that yet, but I probably should be, but, um, anyways, um, as you can see, 131%, so it's going to be the same, the problem is, with advanced troops, you can see they are very, very pricey, regular troops, combat tree, does not require these files, research files and advanced combat res restricted files, that is unfortunate, but, um, I mean, this is going to give you a lot more power, but I don't know. Not enough to justify the cost if you're a free-to-play player or you're, you're a non-spender or you are just trying to spend as little as possible. If I were to give you guys any pointers on this, I would say if you're in a big alliance and you guys are using advanced troops a lot, get it researched and like quick just get it out of the way get it over with you won't have to think about it again if you're in a smaller alliance I would say probably just if you have regular t-force just kind of sit tight on those and work on it here and there a little bit get it done when you can as time goes on and um, it's gonna get cheaper not cheaper but um, the value of everything's gonna go down including resources and it's gonna be easier to come by alright guys so Here's the thing. So for regular troops, whether it be T1, 2, 3, 4, this is, and I'm comparing one T1, 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 T2, 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 and so on with troops and advanced troops. So each troop, as you can see, has a certain boost against another different type of troop. So I'm oh, sorry, right here. Say soldier. It is going to be strong versus armored vehicles. That is like the one that you want to hit someone that's heavy in armored vehicles with. They are weak versus tactical. So, yeah, I mean, they're just weak versus tactical. Let me take you guys over to this. Sorry. How did I catch my train of thought there? They are weak versus tactical and infantry. So, they are the same price to train. Same price, so if I want to train 70,400, it's 3.52 and 2.67, you can see. 3.52, 2.67. But it's that research tree where you're gonna pay for it. Okay, if you're going against armored vehicle, against those armored vehicles, each troop that you go up against, you are going to have a 200% attack boost when using the advanced infantry. Basically, what I'm trying to say is the troop that it's very strong against, the certain troop type, it is going to give you a 200% boost, attack boost against that troop type. Regular troops are going to give you 100%. So, you guys can see they're twice as strong against a certain troop type that they're strong against. However, they Give me a second here. Let me think about this. So if, say you're going, say you have a patrol vehicle right here, and say you're going against tactical, you're gonna have 100% troop boost, attack boost. If you use the assault chopper, the other armored vehicle, but advance, you're gonna have a 200% attack boost against tactical. Okay, so if you're going against one of these, so say armored vehicle is going against infantry, 
you are going to have with the regular um, the regular troops you're going to have a um, negative 50 percent um, defense advanced troops not much different in this particular case against it against infantry you are going to have a negative 50 percent too the thing is this right here you are going to have a negative 50 percent too on the other hand these guys the regular ones there it's going to be no boost no um, decrease in the boost so the a are they are going to be a lot weaker whatever you see they're weak against if it's not on the regular troop type for that one in this case it's armored vehicle it's going to have a negative 50 percent is this making sense i hope so because i'm trying to explain this as best as i can because um so for tactical regular troops 50 or 100 percent boost for tactical same troop but advanced going to have a 200% versus the 100% before. Against infantry, it is going to have a negative 50%. Against armored vehicle, it is going to have negative 50%. Both of those are negative 50% versus this just being negative 50%. There's no armored vehicle here. So you guys can see that it is weaker against more troop types. So if you go in and they're fully like stacked at um, tactical and you go in with the advanced troops and you hit them with advanced troops right here and that you go in and they're stacked with tactical you're going to wreck them because you're gonna be killing twice as many troops if you go in with these guys against armored vehicles you are going to kill let's say you're gonna kill 10,000 you go in with these guys you're going to kill 20,000 because they're not weak against armored vehicle Hopefully that makes sense. Um, this is really good for control point because usually, they're not usually, but sometimes they are stacked at a certain troop type because the commander's in there and they're gonna have that gear on. A lot of times the, they'll balance it out. So that's when it's better to use regular troops, but it is debatable whether it's better. I forget what I just said. It is debatable because you, so let's say negative 50, negative 50. So it's negative 100, 200%. So that's going to be a hundred percent boost. Regular troops, hundred percent, negative 50. That's, that's 50%. So yes, it is going to be better to use advanced troops regardless, not regardless if they are evenly. So if they have 700,000 of each troop, troop type in the control point, you're definitely going to want to use advanced because it's going to do more damage. Um, yeah, I mean, I think that's pretty much all I've been asked about. Um, yeah, guys, I mean, I hope that I hope that covered it. Advanced troops are going to be strong. Two hundred percent, negative fifty, negative fifty. Regular troops, hundred percent, zero, negative fifty. So I hope that that is able to explain. It might help if you guys write that down. Um, if you if you think that'll help, then go back in the beginning of the video, close to the beginning, and um, write down what I said. And uh, hopefully that explains it well for you guys and um, gives you guys a good idea of which ones you should be training because they are going to make a big difference. Um, and later on in the game. They are going to become more and more crucial as the game progresses. So, yeah, guys, if you have any questions, please comment below. Um, I will answer, try and answer all your guys' questions you have, most of them at least. Um, that's why I'm making this video, so you guys get your questions answered. So, uh, please ask away. All right, guys, please hit that like button down below. It helps me out, and subscribe for more. Thanks, guys.